I really love freedom more than money. <laughs> um, depends with uh, maybe how you do it. Maybe you have money. <laughs> maybe in Africa, times we don't have uh, traffic lights, so you only use your common sense. Here in the rich neighborhood of Nairobi, so this is Mudaiga, right? Welcome to my blog. My name is Gossi Africa. So today I'm having a date with a superstar and a world traveler. Afternoon, sir, for dates, and I told you that we're having a day today with a, a superstar and a world traveler who might be going to show you shortly. Meanwhile, we are with the Nairobi CBD. Just look how Nairobi CBD is so populated. Look at the vehicles, the traffic jump. So this is the famous Moy Avenue. Which Moy Avenue? It's Tom Boyer. Yeah, it's Moy Avenue. This one? No, it's Tom Boyer. Moy Avenue is the other one. No, it's Moy Avenue. Oh, it's Moy Avenue? Oh, I'm forgetting my city. Yeah, I think I'm so much focused with the Trinidad and Tobago until I'm forgetting my town. So, bro, do you mind introducing yourself? <laughs> Yeah, I'm with my friend here, so he take, he's taking me to for the dates. Yeah, so I'll be showing you who I'll be meeting. Yeah, introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Ian. Ian. Um, I'm an Uber driver yeah. in Nairobi. Yeah, this guy specializes in uh, cab business within the CBD. That's Bata. Bata is an international company, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can That's leave perfect. a comment. What do you observe in this beautiful city of Nairobi? The roads, well, Tama. That's a, a different kind of uh, car business. You call it Farasi. Yeah, that's a different Farasi. company. They actually started. Oh, they they are starting. Yes, they are they are starting. They so just, you are, uh, you didn't consider venturing the same? No, you can have all all apps. Yeah. Oh, you have more apps. Yes, I have oh. all apps. I also have Farasi. Uh -huh. I have Uber. Because so you go you, the, you go with the one comes first, right? Yes, the one that that uh, that has a lot of first. Right? Oh, that is the so one you you have you definitely have to. So do. for me, I use uh, both. Yes, so immediately I you got my request you you crossed the other apps right yes you have to go offline oh. so that because you may get other orders eh? mm -hmm. and, uh, and and it's not good for you really when you don't accept some of those oh. so once you get an order with with a specific uh, app eh? yeah you have to go offline to the others I didn't know that. Then, offline, then. then we have a big flyover. We are approaching this roundabout. How, how do you call it? Globe. Globe. Yeah, globe, globe roundabout. Yeah. Is it secure? Yeah. Uh, Is it safe? Yeah, it's safe. It's quite safe. It's not like sure. in the past, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, in the past, it wasn't. It wasn't safe at all. Because, mm -hmm. um, we have security guys there. Yes, we have security guys. Then there is lots of parking here. Oh, yeah? Some businesses so we have to we have to have security. Uh -huh. But in the past, eh, yeah. there was actually a, a living place for street families. street families. Yes. Yeah, the Chokora. We call them Chokora in Kenya. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a better one for them, street families. So, no. um, yeah, you don't have to be rude. Yes. But right they, now it's quite okay. I, I, I have about uh, 10 friends. Mm -hmm. yes, they once belonged to street families. Yeah. But they are changed. Yes, they yeah. they they they, they have rehabilitated. They actually programs for for them eh? for their rehabilitation by the government. Yes, by the government, by oh. the Nairobi County. Oh, we have a police officer there. By the by the Nairobi County government. Oh, they are, they have been running a program to rehabilitate them. But most of them, you still find them going back. Eh? They oh, don't, I don't I don't think they are. They're not used to the normal kind of yeah, life. The normal they're, kind of life. Yes, and then yeah. you see they've grown. Yeah. They've been uh, born and 
bread. Yeah, they, the street, they so. only know how it's to all, live at the street. Yes, it's all they know. Yeah. So some of them go back, some some of them get actually rehabilitated. No, I have a friend who, who claims to have rehabilitated, but he was told for me. Because they are used to this. Someone still, can never change uh, their behavior fully. They still told me. Yeah. In fact, that guy called me about two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. He even forget that he stole from me. <laughs> it's, unfortunate. It's, un it's unfortunate. I think it's in their blood. Eh? Yeah. But uh, yeah, some of them actually do get rehabilitated, and you find them, you find that they get into art. Yeah. yeah some that some of those guys are actually musicians. Singers, yeah. Yeah. Musicians, actors. Yeah, performing act artists. Oh. Actors. Comedians. And they do well. Yes, and some of them, yes, some of those do well. Oh. The ones that we know do well. Eh? Mm -hmm. Of course, there are others that uh, remain behind. There are others that uh, prove hard to be rehabilitated. Oh. Yes. But you have to, for you to, get, to be rehabilitated fully, you have to accept it. You have to accept it. Yeah, you have to accept it. Yes, we talk about the life in Nairobi. What is life in Nairobi? Is it expensive? Uh, of course. Expensive. It's expensive. Yes, but you guys to, seem to be living to a good life. Uh, it seems so, but uh, <laughs> on the ground it's quite different. It's quite different. It's very. It's actually very different. You see, you have to put a happy face because when I when I come and show you my all my problems, <laughs> um, you won't even enjoy the the ride. In any, oh. in any case. So I have to put a happy face. Oh. Uh, but uh, you may not know the situation. Yeah. The back of it all. It's not so. We have some, uh, some few guys who are still buying big vehicles. Because I, I, I can attest that Nairobi, majority of Nairobians yeah. uh, drive big vehicles than whatever we find in the Western countries. Yes, you'll find Do you agree that, with me? Yeah, you'll you find uh, that uh, some statistics, eh? yeah. they, will, they will say that uh, actually mm -hmm. the best selling cars yeah. in Nairobi past like uh, very few, uh, I would say few years, eh? yeah. there are these big, big cars, big, yeah, big, big like cruiser V8s and yeah. uh, the SUVs, Pra yes, Prado yeah. GXs, yeah. so once you this say, once, feel once, the you say once you say that there is the, 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 the no money, <laughs> you actually talk about yourself, yourself, not, yes, on not, an individual not, not basis, everyone, yeah. yes, because you can see new cars everywhere, new buildings popping up, new marriage buildings, there's, there's money, yeah. This money you just you just need to know where to buy it. Yeah. Meanwhile we are in the rich neighborhood of Nairobi. So this is Mudaiga, right? Yes. Yeah, Mudaiga. Yeah, Mudaiga. So we have Mudaiga Golf Club somewhere there. Yeah, Mudaiga Golf Club. It's actually here. Right ahead. This side? No. This side. I think it's this side. This side. Mudaiga is somewhere there. You, you check yes. that route, uh, the route to your uh, left. That one. This one. Yeah. This one. Yeah. That's the gate. Old Kembu Road. Yes. This yeah, is Kembu Road. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. But this is also Mudaiga Golf Club. So oh, this, it's part of it. Yes. This is actually this is where the, yeah, the, the main part is. Uh, yeah. The, the environment here is changing. Very green. And why? Why is it that they reach? Like living uh, in the forest because these 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 are forests. Okay, not uh, not necessarily. I'd say oh, like this this right here mm -hmm. is Karura Forest. Yeah, uh -huh. this is Karura. This is Karura Forest. Uh, I think the only forest in the world. Yeah, very famous uh, yeah. place. Uh, um, and you'd find that uh, most of these, the, the I'd say the one of the two of the biggest estates. Uh, yeah. Uh, Neighbor, big neighborhoods, yeah. uh, posh neighborhoods. Eh? Yeah. That is Mutaiga and Kuruna. Yeah. They happen to to neighbor Karuna. So you'd say you'll find that uh, most uh, when you go to these places, you also you, you always find trees and all that. <laughs> <laughs> they are the good places. Oh, the, they are the time in Moria. They are the good places. Mm. But uh, ideally, these guys don't like living with other people. Am I wrong? Uh, they don't like. Can actually, they actually buy people out <laughs> so that they may get to enjoy their 
Oh, if you don't like, accept the offer, then they chase you away, right? Yes, they can the chase you away. They have the power, mm. they have the money. The money. So once they, they, they come to you with an offer, you have to accept it. <laughs> That's so it. They, they own this place. If they don't actually grab it, eh, yeah. you, you are quite fortunate when they come to you with an offer. Oh. That's it. Uh, would you wish to be that rich? Of course, yes. Nobody, nobody, nobody enjoys poverty. Yes. Yeah, nobody, nobody would like to live in poverty, but at the end of the day, I would like, um, yes, to be, to be rich, eh? yeah. but, but something that I could manage, something that I could oh, no. actually enjoy. Being able to live uh, well with the community. Yes, I'm a, I, I would like to be financially free. Yeah. I, like I like that term, to, financially free. Yes, to be able to travel and do the stuff that I want, but not to an extent that uh, so wealthy that I, I need a motorcade to get by. Yeah, you need security. Yeah, I need, I need security now. I, I don't think I would enjoy that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, yes, I would. Who doesn't love money? Mm. Everyone loves money. Yeah. Oh. The lifestyle in Nairobi, do we have uh, nightli nightclubs? Um, nightlife in Nairobi is, uh, I'd say, it's wild. It's wild? It's, yeah. yeah? Huge, huge nights. Mm -hmm. Huge, huge. You should um, you should go to one of these uh, places. Eh? Yeah. Very big places right now. Uh, I want somewhere uh, I can enjoy live band. Somewhere I can I can film. Somewhere without uh, whereby the music doesn't have copyright. Um, live band. Okay, I think eh, most of these places, most of these big big places. Eh? Yeah. There are there are specific days eh, mm -hmm. where they have that in their program. Eh? Yeah. Like you'll find maybe on last days they do a live band. Yeah. I think most of these places are like that. Eh? Yeah. Um, like we had this uh, whiskey river, but recently they closed. Oh, the whiskey river. river. Yeah. yeah it's recently it's closed. Mm -hmm. uh, this part of Mudaiga, we are now in Kiambu. Yes, this is this is Kiambu. This is by the by the Mudaiga is Oh, Ridgeways. Ridgeways. Oh. Just neighboring Kunda. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ridgeways is a rich neighborhood street, right? Yeah. Yeah, as you can see. It's not a. Yeah, you guys are driving big vehicles here. Yes, yeah. Gazlers. Yeah, kayaks everywhere. Like, <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, kayaks everywhere. It's, it's like a super, supermarket. The way you have a supermarket outside there, you buy bread. Is eh? <laughs> that the same that these guys have kayaks? Yes, kayaks everywhere. <laughs> Right next to, right along the northern bypass, oh. just here. Yeah. It's just a few kilometers away. Mm. This bar next door. Um, there is there are, there are several. There is another bar next door in um, Kilimani. In Kilimani. It's a very nice place as well. I think uh, next door. Yeah, bar next door. Bar next door. BND, yeah. I, I, I would prefer door. Kilimani. Kilimani yes, is a bit Kilimani. safe. Yes, in mm. Kilimani there, there yeah. is. Disclaimer guys, we're not doing uh, adverts, Yeah, we're trying to learn more about Nairobi and as well you can, uh, if the places excite you, then uh, you can have yeah, you can have a look of them, you can, have, you can visit, yeah? Nairobi is a good place, so these guys are developing uh, these areas, Africa develops every day. But then you enjoy being in Africa more than being uh, in an uh, other place. Yeah. yeah. There, is, there is so much to do in Africa. I, like, I feel like people actually live their lives mm. better than here. Yeah. Because once you go to, once you go abroad to yeah. like these big, big places, people are always working. I don't think they have uh, uh, they don't the have... same life that you would say that uh, you, you have in Africa. Yeah, they, they, they live quite a different life. Now this is not on bypass oh. as well. Okay. I don't know that bypass. 
So right. it's added to Tika Super Highway, right? Yes, oh. exactly. Oh. Learning these places. So at times here we don't have, uh, in, in, in Africa at times we don't have uh, traffic lights. So you only use your common sense <laughs> to move to the direction you want to go to. Yes. Just look at the vehicles guys here driving. Big vehicles. Africans have money. And something you guys need to know is that uh, in Africa we don't use credit cards. So whichever vehicle you see someone driving, they buy using cash. Oh, Alua, yeah, that's the club that's what I'm talking about. Yes. It looks like a good club, man. It's a nice place. You can play lots of caravan. The nightlife here, the, 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 the lights in here is, is, is vibrant. Yeah, it's vibrant. It's vibrant. You get all sorts of, yeah. of, of uh, experiences. Just look at the car yard there. People here are buying vehicles every single day. Yeah. But would you prefer a nine to five job or you prefer um, employing yourself? Um, being, uh, I have some experience uh, in a nine to five. Eh? Yeah. And I would say I wouldn't go back. Uh, you didn't go back. To five to yeah, you have freedom, right? Yes. Once you you self employ, um, I think it's much better. I think it's you have a. Uh, Flexibility. You decide on the time to wake up and the time to close your job. Yes, like now I have I have other stuff that I issue to do, so I can I can be able to get a plan oh. on it. Yes, because um, I would say that this job, eh, you know, I can I can also do at night. So yeah. I'll wake up in the morning, yeah. maybe do do a few things here and there, up to like uh, two, yeah. around two in the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Then from there, mm -hmm. I'll get into Uber, get yeah. driving. Yeah. I can do that until midnight. So, would you encourage someone else? Can you encourage someone else maybe to do whatever you're doing? Is it worth it? Um, if you feel like you can manage the, <laughs> the it, it all depends with <laughs> yes, your priorities, right? With, yeah, it, it depends with you. Depends if you like freedom. Yes, if you like freedom. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you like uh, meeting lots of people. Yeah, yeah. I like the experience of driving yeah. around town, going to new places. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe it's, it, it can be for you. Uh -huh. But uh, it's not always it, it seem, uh, uh, as it seems. Yeah. It's not, a, it's not a, uh, an easy thing mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Nothing is easy. Yeah, yeah. by day nothing is easy. Yes, nothing is easy. But uh, if you're dedicated, if, you, if that is what you want, eh, yeah. you can. Uh, it's just a the reason I chose camera, why I chose uh, traveling and doing YouTube, I love freedom. You talk about freedom, I love freedom. I even love freedom more than money. <laughs> um, depends with uh, maybe how you do it. Maybe you have money. <laughs> maybe you already have money and you don't have freedom. So you are seeking freedom, eh? Okay, there are some people who would argue that uh, they, would, they would rather have money mm -hmm. than and, and have maybe they, they would they will not mind uh, the less time to spend it. Yeah. But for me, I would rather have something. Whatever I'm doing, yeah. I am. It's quite flexible that I, it will not limit me to doing other stuff because there's so much uh, about life. That, mm -hmm. uh, there's so much more to life than working. Working, yeah. And doing all these endless things, mm. there's so much more to life. I think we need to talk more. Meanwhile, my camera uh, is shutting down, so I need to end this video here. Then we shall be starting another episode. Yeah, I'll be showing you more about the date I'm talking about. So, my name is Gosi Africa, and uh, we can't wait to meet this superstar. The world traveler and the best traveler so far, so far we have in Africa. Keep on guessing who the person is. Meanwhile, subscribe and like the video. Goodbye. Bye.